Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. Just a quick one today. I'm just playing with something. I've been watching um, Tecmo and he was doing some oscilloscope music and it so happens, and I'll turn the camera so you can see, I have an oscilloscope and I have a phone playing uh, Jero Beam, Jero Beam Fenderson's Shrooms. You can see that there. See the picture? He's showing a picture of what it looks like on his oscilloscope. And I'll just show you what you've done. What, what, what you done, what I done got an audio lead and I've trimmed the ends and those trimmed ends are here you can see I've got the different pins so the ground is this sort of braided copper wire and then the, the other two interestingly enough you can join together like that they're going on two separate probe inputs and then if I turn on my scope it's a bit noisy so excuse the noise you should be able to see when it wakes up the actual Jarra beam shrooming experience and um, it's not as sharp as a lot of uh, the pictures you'll see on the internet because it's not sampling particularly high and it's actually a digital storage scope so it does have different properties than regular sort of oscilloscopes but you can see it's doing a 2D image and what you've basically got to do is set your if, you go, if you've got one of these like this, push the horizontal button and you'll see a mode which is X, Y. So if you imagine the normal mode is something like that or, you know, I've got it set as dots at the moment, so you're not really going to get a great picture. But uh, when you select it to X, Y, it will use one channel to operate the X axis and one channel to operate the Y axis. And then you'll get all manner of patterns occurring. And I've clearly done something because it's kind of not doing it in a nice even way. You can see the data there, but it's sort of gone slowly. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, I'm going to push auto set, see what that does. So that's the normal representation you'd see on your scope. So you can see the sort of sound waves here. So I'm going to go to horizontal menu again, X, Y mode. And there's our shrooms dancing around. So I'm going to just use the sort of standard oscilloscopy adjustment here just to get that up to where we want it. And then I'm going to drag it across where we want to get the image centered. You can do this when the sort of sound is off. In fact, if I sort of unplug it, you'll see that it'll just draw a dot somewhere. And that dot, I got it quite luckily enough, got it in the middle of the screen. So I'm gonna to have to plug this back in again. Excuse me, need two hands. So I'm gonna push play again, and we're playing. So then what you can do is adjust the volts per div here. So I've got it set to currently five volts per div. But yeah, look, if I set it to sort of one volt per div, it's too much, so two volts per div. There you go, a nice kind of pretty picture. So I think that's really fun. I'm going to try one day to fix, where is it buried? Where is it buried? This small little digital storage scope here. And when I do, I'll try again the uh, Jero Beam Fenderson's Shrooms, or one of his many other sort of songs. I'm not going to play the audio because I don't know what the copyright is, but yeah, have a go at that. Using some lab equipment that you might have lying around your office right now. So yeah, please uh, leave comments down below if you've tried this. Click like, subscribe if you're that way inclined. And as ever, thank you for watching.